Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you're here. We are going to do some rustic country minis. I'm so excited about these. I love rustic country. So DIY number one. These are the dominoes I showed you in a prior video and I've gotten a lot of questions about them and you get so many in a package that's like one row I think has like eight or ten I think you get four or five rows for a dollar and you can just use your imagination they're very thin they're so easy to work with and you can build and create so many DIYs and they are perfect for minis so for this project, I'm going to start with four. I'm going to make sure that the dominoes are on the outside and I'm going to put them together forming a box. You want to make sure that the domino patterns on the outside, that way you have a nice clean wooden inside. And if you can hear my son, he's upstairs playing this PlayStation. He's being kind of loud. I guess I should have warned him. I'm doing my little voiceover. Um, try to ignore them if you can hear them. <laughs> so anyway, using hot glue, I'm just going to put this little box together and then I'm going to hot glue the box onto two more of those domino pieces. Again, with the domino pattern on the outside. That gives you a nice clean box for the inside. So now we have this cute little mini box <laughs> and I'm going to take some of this white rope that I got from Walmart that I've been dying to use and I am going to start on the ed bottom edge and I'm going to keep wrapping around adding hot glue as I go and working my way up to the top. When I get to the top I'm going to add some more hot glue on top of the box as you'll see and I'm going to put a nice piece of rope on top of it to finish it off. So cute. Oh my goodness. It looks like a woven box and I just think that's adorable. If you like this clean white, leave it the way it is. But I'm going to show you how to take it up a notch. But first, I'm going to add two more pieces of those dominoes face down this time to finish off the look and really make this look clean and crisp. I'm going to come in with some think I used burnt umber um some kind of brown it was either coffee bean or burnt umber I'm so sorry but I am gonna paint a line going around the top to finish that look DIY number two using the same technique that we did in DIY number one we're gonna make a little like flat mini flower pot and this is a old Keurig cup. I already drank the coffee. I cleaned out the grounds and I tried to get that inner part out. I didn't do a very good job, so do better at cleaning it up than I did. But you can always paint that inner part white too if you have a hard time removing the filter in this cup. But I did the same thing. I came in with that rope. I went around 
when I got to the top, I added a couple more layers just to give that lip like of a flower pot. And then I just grabbed some floral and oh, I'm, I always get ahead of myself. I need to slow my brain down just a little bit. And this one, I am going to use that same brown paint, but I'm going to do a line around the bottom. That way it coincides with the box that we made. And this is just so cute. You can put any floral you want. I ended up kind of making a pine tree inspired little creation inside this one. And the box, I had an extra succulent. So I took the top off that succulent and I put that inside of the box. So cute. And I think this is on the verge of rustic country, farmhouse rustic maybe, but super cute. And I think it's a little mini as well. What do you all consider minis? I've been dying to ask you. Do you consider minis something smaller than normal? Or like my tiered tray that is sitting next to the flower pot? Those are, to me, like super minis. But I think my, I don't know, my definition of mini is smaller than what it would normally be. But let me know in the comments below what you consider a mini to be. DIY number three is going to be a really rustic country. <laughs> so they sell these little chests at Dollar Tree. And I bought this many, many months ago and been brainstorming what to use it for. And sometimes it just takes getting an item and holding it again, opening it up maybe, and it just comes to you. And I knew exactly what I wanted to do with this. So I took off the handles because we're not going to need those. And I grabbed some stain and I gave this little chest just a coat of stain. A lot of people, I guess I stain different <laughs> than some. A lot of people like wipe stain on and then wipe it off. And right now I'm using spackle to just fill in those little holes. Okay, so I always just dip my paintbrush in the stain and just cover the whole piece with the stain and set it aside to dry. It usually takes about a day, probably because I'm using so much stain. But if you want to just put a little bit on and wipe it off, it'll probably dry a lot quicker <laughs> than how I'm doing it. But I gave this a real nice coat of stain inside, outside, cracks and crevices, everything. And this is me brainstorming right now of what I can use to make this happen. But what we're going to be making is a little outhouse. I must be silly, but I love outhouses. <laughs> I don't like using outhouses, but I love having like little outhouse decor pieces. It's so cute. So we're going to make a little mini outhouse. I was at the wrong place at the right time. Because suddenly there you were with those bright blue eyes. We were conversing into the night sky When you took my hands and said, let's leave now Don't wanna be shy I will let my guard down Don't wanna be shy
love bar with neon lights Talked about everything that was on our mind Talking to you gave me so once my stain was dry, I grabbed a large popsicle stick or craft stick and I'm just measuring it to fit the inside. And then I use the top of a 20 ounce soda pop and that's gonna be the little area where you'd put your bum and go potty. <laughs> I'm sorry y'all, I just had to say it. Anyway, that's gonna be like the, are they called toilets in an outhouse? I don't know. But that's gonna be your little potty. So I measured the craft stick, I hot glued that top inside of the box, and then I hot glued the craft stick to go in front of it. Then I'm going to use smaller craft sticks, and I just put it in there and measured and trimmed, and that's going to frame the top of the potty. And then we're going to come in with some copper penny paint and really give this like a copper look, painting the bottle top cap everything the wood everything <laughs> so stinking cute and i'm also going to use that copper penny to put on the edges and stuff just to give it a little rusted look for this little mini outhouse starting to look like an outhouse if you like rustic country decor like this just fits <laughs> it doesn't get more rustic country backwoods than having an outdoor potty right <laughs> so now I, like i said i'm just using that copper penny to give it some rust i went in the bathroom i grabbed some toilet paper off the roll and i rolled it up cut it down and then i just used a glue stick to secure the edges together, leaving a little bit overhanging like you would see on a normal toilet paper roll. And then I'm gonna take that toilet paper and I'm gonna hot glue it to the inside of the outhouse right next to the potty. Um, so, <laughs> it's so cute. It just, you gotta use real toilet paper, right? You know, you want the authentic rustic country look. So I think our little outhouse is coming along and it needs a sign. So I took that thick popsicle stick, cut it down. I just used a Sharpie and highlighted the edges. And then in the center of it, I wrote outhouse hours eight till 10. <laughs> and I used some twine to make a hanger on the back of it. And then I used a silver push pin to attach it to the door. I can't help but dream away Standing on a field with you And flowers everywhere mm -hmm. Maybe there is a star with your name One thing I know is that there should be There is no one who has a heart as pure And there is the little miniature outhouse. How oh, stinking cute. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> okay, I'm just having too much fun with this little outhouse DIY. But I just think that's so cute. And it was fun to make. DIY number four, we are going to make a little crate using one of the crates from Dollar Tree because it's already the perfect size for this project. All you have to do is remove the center piece and it pops out kind of easy. Put your fingers behind it and push. So now you 
don't have to build a crate yourself. It's already put together, easy peasy. Remove that middle piece, use your favorite stain and stain this crate. Now, when working with like crates or things with slots, really keep turning it because it never fails whether I'm painting or staining even though I thought I got every crack and crevice and I've covered everything I will set it aside to dry come back and realize I missed a whole section <laughs> or underneath or on top so just keep turning it around a few times just to make sure that you've gotten everything covered with the stain so cute there's where i popped that slat off and i kept it because i'll probably use it for another project but i absolutely love the assortment that you can get at dollar tree in their wood section i'm always finding something new so i have this chicken wire and it's the smaller chicken wire i'm i can't even remember where i got it it's been so long <laughs> But I'm sure like you can get some at Hobby Lobby. Um, I cut it down to size and then I folded over the ends so nothing would be poking out. Also, I thought it would be easier because I'm just going to use hot glue to attach this. Um, if you wanted to, you could put this in and you could use a like a small popsicle stick and stain it and try to put it on top of put the box, the chicken wire, then the popsicle stick to maybe secure it. I really didn't want to see it through the slats, so I was just patient, added a lot of hot glue in the corners, used my little silicone stick to hold down until it dried, and it's it worked perfectly. Um, it's secure. I'm not going to be grabbing it, you know, or what am I trying to say here? I'm not going to be like picking it up by it. It's just for decorative purposes. So I don't think it'll come apart. Um, like I said, if you want it more secure, you can use a popsicle stick. So I added chicken wire to both sides. And to me, chicken wire screams rustic country right there, especially with that dark stain. This is just turning out so cute. If you want to go a step further before you add the chicken wire to the box, you could even put some copper paint on it to make it look rusted. Um, that's an option and you would even go even more rustic country with this piece. But I just left it the way it was. The stain was so dark and I thought the chicken wire really added some contrast, lightened it up just a little bit. Using thick twine or jute string from Walmart, I cut it to size and I tied knots in both ends. I think having the knot at the end just gives it a more high-end look than just gluing the jute string to the box. Once I had it tied in the knots and the size I wanted, I just used some hot glue and I attached both handles, one to each side. It's so cute. I absolutely love chicken wire. I love the stained wood. This piece costs under $2 to make and it's just so cute and you can fill it with anything. I mean, it just, you could put recipes in this, little recipe um, papers or floral, whatever you want, however you want to decorate. For Easter, you could put little Easter eggs. Valentine's, you could put little hearts. You could decorate it for Christmas. <laughs> Endless possibilities with this little box. I hope you guys enjoyed my mini rustic country video. As always, I had so much fun. 
And where else are you going to see a mini outhouse? <laughs> I love that little mini outhouse. I hope you guys had fun with me. If you did, consider subscribing to my channel. Ring that bell for more farmhouse decor and mini farmhouse decor. And I hope you guys are just having the most wonderful and blessed day. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I love y'all so much. And per request from a lot of you, I am working on doing a miniature laundry room house sign. So stay tuned, guys. Have a blessed and wonderful week. See you soon.